Hey guys, I'm here with another Harry Slatkin Homeworks candle haul. I have two sets from, these are some of the newer ones. He had his first sets that came out. He had, I think, was it four or five different sets from the drinks and then like the destinations. They had like drink type of ones. I got the um, white sangria from the first haul paired with the Tiari Sunrise. And then I had, on my other one, I had the dessert collection, which was the berry trifle and the pineapple mousse. So now he has some more ones coming out. He has some other floral scents that are coming out. Um, he had a couple of different, like melon ones, some apple ones, and different things. So I will show you the two sets that I have here. Some of them are online, but he, he hasn't done the videos on them on QVC yet, like smelling them and everything, but he, they are listed on the website. So you can't order them and they are there are even some more on there that they keep adding so just keep checking the websites and then you'll be able to uh order them and then i'm assuming he's going to do a video eventually on qvc and it'll smell them and talk about them and everything so the first up we have is sweet spring melon and it's really pretty color of the melon color like a kind of a peach color looking kind of peach but it's pretty peach color. That's pretty much what it is. And it has the melons. It's pretty much like a honeydew melon on the vine all the way wrapped around it. And then of course there were three wicks like I showed you and then it's got his uh, little monogram emblem on the top there. And these all Burn time is 30 to 55 hours and they are 18 ounces and the scent notes for sweet spring melon read ripe honeydew melon watermelon freesia cucumber wild strawberry and water lily this is really nice if you like honeydew melon scents you'll love this one because it's such a good one I definitely get that honeydew melon. Honeydew melon is probably the, the most prominent note. And then I do get cucumber though. You really get that cucumber mixed in with that honeydew melon. And those are really good. Very juicy. It has a lot of juicy scents. When he has this fruit scents, they're all really juicy. They almost, they make your mouth water. They really do. That ripe honeydew melon. Yeah, I don't really get much of the the freesia which i'm not getting any kind of floral on this or the water lily water lily might no i don't i don't maybe if it is it's just just an ever subtle hint of a floralness in there but mostly the honeydew melon with that cucumber and strawberry i do you can get a, if you sniff really hard maybe get a slight bit of a, like a strawberry note they're just a tad bit of like a sweetness and there could be like a strawberry kind of. That is, but not a lot. It's just mostly the honeydew melon and the cucumber. And then the watermelon too. I would say the watermelons are there a little more than the strawberry. They're, because that sweetness maybe does come off a little bit more like a watermelon than a strawberry. Yeah, I would say mostly the ripe honeydew melon, and then the cucumber, and then a little bit of the watermelon. Yeah, I, I don't get, and just a tad bit of a strawberry. Maybe just a ever so slight hint of a floor on this, but mostly just the honeydew melon, cucumber, and then a slight bit of watermelon are the main ones I smell. If you don't like florals, don't get scared by that, because it's really not any kind of floralness in here at all. It's mostly just, pretty much it's just basically a honeydew melon type of scent. Cucumber melon. Honeydew melon, cucumber melon. If you like those scents, you'll love this. It's really good. I can't wait to burn that. Next, we have another one that came. This is the one that came with that pair. This is Orchard Apples. And it has the apples all around there with the leaves from the apples all around there. And this is white wax, three wicks, same lid. 
And this one reads, Juicy Apple, Applewood, Vetiver Grass, Succulent Cantaloupe, Ripened Peach. So I was unsure about this one when I, it, when it came with this sweet honeydew melon, or the sweet spring melon, I was unsure about it because I'm kind of, I like apple scents, but I got really burnt out on them this past fall because it seems like I had so many apple scents that I went through. Between candles and wax melts, I just got really like OD'd on, on apple scents. But I do like them, so I'm like, oh, another apple scent. I wasn't really excited about another apple scent, but it's a good apple scent. Even though I got burnt out on them, I will say it's a good apple scent. If you love apple scents, you'll like it because it's just really good apple scent. Not a super sweet apple, but just a juicy apple. And then the apple wood, I do get like an apple wood, like the, with the tree. And then I get like a little bit of a green note. It says vetiver grass, and say vetiver grass. Yeah, vetiver grass. I don't know if it's like grass that I really get, but I do. Um, there's like a green note. It's almost like the leaf, like the leaves here on the apples you can see on the lid, I, or on the label. I can get that and then like the apple and then like the tree. It's almost like you could smell the bark of the tree and then the apple itself and then the leaves on the apples. I get all that. Yeah, I get all that, but then I don't really get the cantaloupe and the peach. I'm not really getting that. I'm trying really hard to see if I can maybe hit hints of like peach or cantaloupe, but I'm not really getting that. I'm mostly getting just apples and the the wood and then the, the leaves on the apples. I'm just, it's just like a total apple tree is what I'm smelling in here. But yeah, I'm not picking up on much of the cantaloupe or the peach. Maybe when it burns, maybe those scents might come up a little bit more. But it's a really good apple scent, so maybe I'll burn this for a little bit to review it, and then I might hold off and then um, burn the rest in the fall, even though this is coming out for the spring. So you could probably burn it in the spring, even though I, I typically like to burn apple scents in the fall. Maybe I could try it in the summer. I don't know. We'll see. I just don't want to, like, because I'm so burnt on, on apple scents, I don't want to, like, burn it and then not enjoy it because I'm still a little OD'd on apple scents. But it is a really good apple scent though. So I don't want to like say it's not good just because I'm OD on apple scents because it is good. It's really good. If you love apple scents, it's, it's a good one, definitely. Okay, and then the next one, the next set we have, first one up is Two Bros Petals. And it has the Two Bros flowers all on there, all the way around. It's pretty. And this one also has white wax, three wicks. And same lid. This one reads Two Bros, Jasmine, Muget, Moss, and Sandalwood. This one's definitely, definitely florally and perfumey. But I like it. I like it. I've said before, I'm not. I don't love floral scents, but I really like them in the spring, and I've been really wanting floral scents more now. Like in the spring, especially the last few years, I've been really itching more than I had before for floral scents, and the floral scents are really growing on me every year, more and more. If you don't like floral scents, this one, I said on my um, Tiara Sunrise, that was a little bit more sweeter, so that kind of calmed down those floral notes. So you might not mind that this one, I don't know about that. If you don't, it's pretty strong floral with the perfuminess. And I ha it has two rows. I wasn't so real, real familiar with two rows, so I, I looked it up here. So it says two rows is a, a perennial plant related to the agaves, extracts of which are used as a note in perfumery. So I'm pretty sure that's probably why it's smelling like perfume to me, because they probably use that a lot in perfumes, women's perfumes. As a matter of fact, Marco said, our son Marco, when he smelled it, he said it smelled like a grandma. <laughs> so yeah, it smells like a woman's, it, it does have a woman's perfume kind of smell to it. And then the, 
Jasmine also, Jasmine sometimes tends to have a little perfuminess as well. So probably that tuberose with that Jasmine kind of is what's making it smell a little perfumey. And the Muguet. Muguet is the French word for Lily of the Valley. I also looked that up too because I wasn't super familiar with that as well. Um, it's just the French word for Lily of the Valley, which is another uh, flowering plant. So that's just another floral uh, plant. And then moss and sandalwood. I, I don't really pick up any of that. Moss or sandalwood. I'm not getting any sandalwood really because I love sandalwood and I don't get any kind of woodsy sandalwood or anything. No, I'm not picking up any sandalwood. If anything, it's way down in there. I would like that if it did because I love sandalwood, but I'm not picking up on that. I mostly pick up on that tube rose with that jasmine and muguet. It's definitely floral and perfumey. It has a tad bit of a sweetness, but not as much sweetness as Tiari Sunrise had. This is a lot more, uh, even though Tiari Sunrise had a little sweetness, it was stronger. This one is definitely more florally and perfumey, but it's not overly strong. It's like a subtle florally perfumey. So there's that. If, if you don't like florals, this is a little bit of a softer floral scent, but it definitely is perfumey and florally. But I like it. I can't stop smelling it. Like I said, I've been really getting more into floral scents, so I'm excited to try that one out. And then lastly, we have Vanilla Cherry Blossom. And this one has the cherry blossoms all around there. Really pretty. Really pretty color. And then of course, the wax is a pink color. Kind of a fuchsia pink a little bit, almost. Well, not quite fuchsia, it's pretty much just pink. Mmm, smells so good. The scent notes of this one are cherry blossom, tart blackberry, blushing peach, black anise, vanilla sugar. So this one is definitely a good one. And it's, I definitely get those tart, uh, tart blackberries. And then the peach. I get tart blackberries in the peach. Definitely get the vanilla sugar, but it's not, it's sugar, I don't know about vanilla. It's not a creaminess really, but definitely sugary. I definitely get a tart blackberries, you see peach and like a sugar. Maybe slightly vanilla, but not like a real creamy vanilla. But as far as the cherry blossoms, I'm not smelling any floral. It's not real floral though. No, it's not. It's mostly fruity, like a tart fruity. And the anise, that black anise, I do maybe way in the background as like a base or like a, not like a top note, maybe like a base note. I could smell that anise in there, way down in there on the bottom of all that. But mostly it's just like a real, like a tart, the fruitiness and then the, uh, the sugariness of that. Mm, it's really good though, really nice. So don't be discouraged if you see if you think it was a vanilla cherry blossom. It's gonna smell florally because of the cherry blossom. It's not really florally at all. If you like blackberries, like peach and sugary type of things, I think you like that. But it is a little different though. It's not completely like a regular uh, juicy fruit scent. Maybe it's that anise in there that's making it just a little bit different. There's kind of a, it's like a dark, dark like fruitiness, kind of up to it. If if you dark like there's like a darkness to it. I don't know. How, I don't know how to describe any any different like that. If that makes any kind of sense to you, like a dark blackberry, like a tart. I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe, but it's really good. I really like that. I think this is my favorite. This and then um. I think this is my favorite, and the the sp sweet spring melon and the tube rose petals is really good too. I think I might like the sweet spring melon just a little bit more than the tube rose. And then of course the apple is really good too. Even though I'm, I got a little burnout on apples, it's just a really good scent. When I'm ready for apples again, yeah, I can't wait to burn this one. It kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, this, go back to the orchard apples. It's a little similar to uh, Yankee Candles Autumn in the Park. That was an apple, kind of a woodsy appleness. It's a little bit similar to that. 
That's kind of what I can compare that one to a little bit. The two rose petals could smell like, it is a little similar to some other Bath & Body Works floral scents. Uh, you know, it even kind of has a kind of a gardenia scent to it, maybe a little bit. Yeah, it's good though. So, okay, that is it for my second haul from Harry Slacken's Homeworks Candles. These candles, my first four that I burned and I did reviews on, I was really, really impressed with them. These have been performing much better than the ones in the fall. They've been pulling out faster, especially if you put, a, put them in any kind of like enclosed type of hurricane. I know they have a lot of these um, gazebos and stuff he's been selling that I've heard they pull out really good in there as well. So if that's an issue with you about pulling out, try stick them in something like that and it'll help it get even hotter so it'll pull out even faster. But even then that, it's been like maybe just a little under three hours to pull out the first time and after that it's been almost under two hours to pull out after that. It's been fine. They burned really, really well. The throw has been really well on all the ones I've had so far. Um, some of them are a little bit stronger than others, but most of them still, I mean, you can smell them all definitely. Some are just a little bit more stronger than others, but they're, they all throw really, really good. So I'm really excited to try these four and see how these all do for me and see if they were just as good as the other four that I burned. So anyway, yes, I highly recommend these. These are really good, good quality scents, really, and none of them smell artificial too. Somebody mentioned that before and I totally agree, they're not artificial at all. They're all really, really good, um, authentic scents with all these candles. So these have been getting a lot of hype, but I agree, I'm not just hyping them up. They are definitely really good candles. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.